Hey, 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 Capricorn, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Thursday, November 21st to the 22nd Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully you will get something out of this reading today. Thank you for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. I do appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe down right below before you leave. Ooh. Okay, one more for Capricorn. One more card for their energy when it comes to love for the next day. Now, okay, we have the Magician, card of Gemini. In the Queen of Cups. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. <clears throat> I'm feeling as if you're looking to manifest love, Capricorn. And you're feeling pretty confident about this, actually. Yep. The Lover's card. This is the card of Gemini. It may be a Gemini you, you want to manifest love with because we do have the Lovers here and the Gemini and the um, Magician, which is also the Gemini card. This is Soulmate Twin Flame Energy. Okay, they just said magic. So some of you may even be doing magic. Love magic. Careful, Cappies. Yeah, because it, with this Queen of Cups here, I'm feeling you actually opening up your heart for this manifestation to occur. Really feeling into this manifestation. And it's feeling very balanced, actually. So it feels good. The Six with the Lovers. Yeah, it's like... I'm actually feeling magic in the lover's card. They just said, you feel as if you can actually reach out and touch this person. Even though they might not be tangible in front of you, Capricorn, that's what they're telling me. You're, you're feeling like you can reach out and touch them. Interesting. That's some powerful shit. Okay, so let's see what is walking into Capricorn's life. What's coming at Capies? Okay, anything else? Okay, anything else? Let's see what else is coming your way. Oh, we have the Seven of Cups. We have the Strength card. And we have the Eight of Swords. <sighs> I'm feeling with this Seven of Cups here. It's like they're... They're looking at you with a, um, a bit of confusion, which is why they have this Eight of Swords energy here. So they may be trying to muster up the courage to step to you, Capricorn, because I do feel a lot of confusion here. They're all wrapped up in your mind. You know this person. You know who this is. It could be a Leo. Gemini, uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Hmm. You do know this person, so I'm not sure how they're going to do it because they're really wrapped up in their head about you, Cappies. So hopefully, I mean, they're trying to find the strength to get out of this mental imprisonment when it, when it comes to you. Mm, how you're going to respond to them, Capricorn, is the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. They just said you may be a little bit harsh with this person. Is Okay. 
they're saying it's not the same person you're trying to manifest. Now, it may not be a specific person you're trying to manifest over here, Capricorn. It could just be attributes, uh, qualities that somebody embodies, right? <clears throat> this person, you're going to, they're saying you're going to be a little bit harsh with them. How else are you going to respond to this person? Okay. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. You do slow this down. It's like, it's like you're harsh, but you do engage with them, right? King of Swords is very logical, very witty too, very, very intelligent. So you do engage with them. I feel that, I think they feel you're coming off a little bit colder than they would like because they're looking for that warm, fuzzy feeling, right, from you. And I'm not sure you're actually seeing them for what it is they're looking for. You may just be seeing this person as an acquaintance, as a friend, and not even thinking of them in a love situation. Because the Knight of Pentacles here is the slowest moving knight in the deck, so it may take you a while to actually realize, oh, wait a minute, they're interested in me. <laughs> okay, so let's see how this changes your energy. Let's see if they affect your energy. I mean, you have pretty good energy to begin with. King of Wands. Ooh, they do spark something within you. You have this passion for love. You you have this excitement. You want to play. That's what I'm feeling. You want to play. You want to play in the bedroom. Oop. How they respond is the chariot. Oh, and the hierophant. Okay. They're going to be moving a little bit faster than you would like. That's what I'm feeling. This could be a Taurus or a Cancer. We have Taurus and Cancer here. It doesn't have to be. But they're looking for change. They're looking to move ahead. They're like, all right, I'm taking the driver's seat now. I'm going ahead. I want Capricorn, so I'm going to get them, and I'm going to get them to commit because I want commitment. I feel a spiritual connection with this dude or do that, right? Hmm, let's see how you respond to that because I'm feeling these two okay ace of pentacles and the two of wands yeah you're you're at a crossroad you're at a crossroads right it could be you have two different options but i'm feeling more that you you're just at a crossroads <clears throat> well no this is two different options in a sense if this person is not quite what you wanted to manifest, then you're sitting there wondering, okay, do I take this opportunity or would I rather wait and see what I can manifest, see what else comes to me, right? Do I, do I take the first thing that, that is offered, so to speak? Okay. So you're, you're wondering about that. Let's see what is in the future for these two. Let's see what's in the future. See what you decide. Let's see if you give them a chance. <clears throat> we have the card of the Hermit. This is the card of Virgo. Introspection in the Tower. Hmm, something happens between you and this individual. And I think it has to do with them wanting this serious commitment and you're not even there yet. You're lucky if you're just out the front front of the gate, you know? Yeah. So this has got you, <clears throat> Nine of Wands, this has got you defensive. This is the wounded warrior, right? This has got you all defensive. You don't know if you want to deal with this. So you're really going internal, Capricorn, and you're looking within and seeing exactly what it is that you want. But you are searching for the wisdom, which I like. Searching for the epiphanies, right? So what is your ultimate decision on this? Will you wait for the one you want? I say the one, you know, in quotes. No. Nine of Pentacles. You're not going to stay with this person. I feel like you will wait for the one that you're um, trying to manifest. Okay? You will stay single. 
ready to mingle. I told you with the King of Wands, you're like, I just want to play. I'm trying to manifest this. I'm trying to see what's out there. Um, that's what you're trying to do, Cappies. You're going to remain single until you find it. So I hope you, uh, two Virgo cards, by the way, here. You may have Virgo in your chart, Cappies. <clears throat> but I like this energy. It's powerful manifestation energy, if anything. So keep the faith, Cappies. You will manifest what you're seeking. So I hope you enjoyed that reading. I hope it resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe. If you already haven't, comment and let me know if this is your story. I'd love to hear from you. You have yourself a great day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.